in the 40 years since Earth Day, I think we've done a really terrific job increasing overall the awareness of our connection, humans' connection to the environment, how much we're dependent upon them. We've also done a great job, more or less, in dealing with discrete sources of pollution, the really bad pollution coming from, say, a power plant or a sewage treatment plant. What we haven't done a very good job on is the diffuse sources of pollution. The most extreme version of that now, of course, is greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels from every, virtually every home, every factory, every power plant, every car. And similarly, there's a water equivalent to that. All the water that runs off when it rains, which picks up the contamination from the streets and the farms, all of that we really haven't done a very good job controlling. So right now, that's the biggest problem with water pollution. That's also the similar, those diffuse sources is the biggest problem with air pollution. That's also where most of our species are getting lost, often the death through a thousand cuts because of poorly planned development rather than some of the big singular efforts of the past. So we've, with the problem has shifted. We've made some important progress and I think it's important not to forget the progress we have made in preventing really terrible industrial pollution, sewage pollution and others and toxic pollution. But we also have a long way to go. Over the next 40 years, the biggest challenge will be to reverse, in a sense, our presumption. What we have come to realize over the last 40 years is that the Earth is finite. 40 years ago still, we thought, by and large, the Earth could absorb whatever we were dumping unless we knew that for some reason we were dumping too much. I think now we realize that almost every system we're dealing with, our atmosphere, our land, our water, our streams, our food system, our fish supply, our food supply, is limited. And that we have to shift the, our way of thinking so that rather than dumping until we know we should stop, we should only put into those systems what we know those systems can take. And if we can make that shift in thinking, which we have done in certain areas, which other countries have done in certain areas, but if we can make that shift of thinking broader, then we have a really, I think, exciting opportunity to live in a way that is gonna be better for all of the humans, but as well as for the ecosystem that sustains us.